Set among the rolling hills of San Diego County's backcountry, just a few miles outside of Alpine, a menagerie, 93 acres of sanctuary, and a name, lions, tigers, and bears, a home for rescued animals. So exotic animal trade suck into drugs and weapons and human trafficking in our country. Uh, these animals are used, abused, and bred for nothing more than profit. It's Nola! Come on, Nola! Bobby Brink is the founder and director of Lions, Tigers, and Bears. Home to dozens of animals, not just the ones in the title. Bobcats, goats, a llama, along with some horses and birds live here too. It is accredited by the American Sanctuary Association and that's important. The True Sanctuary Rescues provides a lifetime home, does not breed, sell, or trade animals. Videographer Mike Damron and I were here last Thursday, International Tiger Day. At least 10,000 tigers are kept in captivity as pets. People begin their time here watching a video explaining how the animals they're about to see got here. But this being International Tiger Day, there was something special. Treats hidden in cardboard creations, raw meat for Nola and Mocha. It costs either 43 or 46 dollars for adults depending on the day and 26 dollars for children for a day's visit. The 15,000 yearly visitors help pay the bills. It's about $15,000 a year to feed just one cat. And then, our, of course, our biggest expenses are building these vast habitats, insurance, pumping the water, electricity, a keeper, keeper salary. All these animals got to have someone to take care of them daily. So, yeah, it's not cheap. About $2 million a year to take care of 65 animals. So while visitors help with daily expenses, we do survive on donations. Donations that help pay for big costs, like the rehabilitation of the animals. A lot of them are in bad shape when they arrive. The life these bears lived before getting here is stomach turning. Baloo behind me is a perfect example, what we call pit bears. So they're literally in cinder block pits where the bears can't see out, kept in breeding pairs. And then when the babies are born, they pull the babies about eight days, six, eight days. Um, from the mama. They take them up top where the mama can hear and smell them but can't see them for people to get their picture taken. Do you still get angry at your fellow human beings? I have to control my temper a lot because you can't lose your temper or we lose and we want to get the animals out of there and sometimes this can take like years, five, six, years to get animals out of just disgusting places. Bobby Brink began her professional career as a flight attendant in 1990, but she soon realized that wasn't for her. Next, she became a restaurateur, but eventually she and her husband's life paths led them here. They opened this place in 2002. She says nowadays, her most rewarding moments come from visitors who arrive not knowing anything about the exotic animal trade, but leave educated and motivated to do something about it. Someday, Brink hopes there won't be a need for places like lions, tigers, and bears. That is a sanctuary's job, is to try to be putting sanctuaries out of business. But until that day arrives, Brink, her staff, and her volunteers will continue to expand this special place by building more habitats and by doing the daily work of making life as good as it can be for these animals who have suffered so much. John Carroll, KPBS News.